hello 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 welcome back today we are embarking on a new journey breakfast my favorite meal of the day and if you're like me and you like breakfast then here you have it a series of breakfast recipes some of these recipes I have tried before some of them it's my first time trying them and here is the first one breakfast egg bake or breakfast egg casserole or tray bake it's a cloud pleaser you can serve it for brunch if you're, you're having people over for brunch you can have it for breakfast you can freeze it and microwave it and have it on the go let's see we have one onion I have a few green peppers here these are the long ones they're called Turkish peppers have some few to cherry tomatoes you can put as many as you want and as many as you like I think I have around 10 to 15 here okay spinach I like spinach I have this one uh, I have this spinach frozen and I just took it out squeezed out of the water chopped it and now we're going to cook it okay five eggs I'm going to cook the bread the onions and the spinach together I just want to give them a kick start before I put them in the oven just because in my opinion spinach needs that kind of help that push okay uh, using some olive oil here I'm adding the onions and I'm not going to wait till the onions change color I just want them to wilt a little bit like so to them a little bit like maybe a minute or so uh, before adding the spinach because as I said we are keeping it simple it's not a long cooking process or anything okay once you feel like your onions have wilted a little then you're going to add the spinach and we're not going to season with anything other than salt here I'm not going to add any um, I would say flavoring agents or spices or anything like that so um, you're cooking this for around four to five minutes like not so much remember spinach takes a lot of salt so put that in mind when you're salting your whole dish I'm going to add a little bit of salt here and I'm going to add a little bit more later when we put everything together okay this um, dish or these ingredients are going to be enough for two to three people if you're have you're serving it alone or if you're serving it with something else then you are going to I think feed more people <laughs> okay so here I'm just uh, transferring the spinach and the onions to a bowl just to let them um, cool a little bit before we add everything else I cracked my eggs now I'm adding some milk you can add cream and I think that would make it even better but we're trying to keep everything on a budget here so milk and it's available in most households so after that we are going to add more salt <laughs> and then I'll add um, onion granules these are dried onions if you don't have them you can add onion powder if you don't have that you can just leave it out okay now let's talk other things paprika I like paprika with spinach especially and with eggs it just gives a really nice flavor now here everything bagel mix I love it it has sesame seeds black and white it has like a little bit of onion granules it has a little bit of garlic it's just like magic in a bottle or a container so if you do have that or you can get your hands on some then add it if you don't then you can just add maybe garlic powder and some sesame seeds now pepper of course eggs love pepper okay so now we're going to mix everything I'm going to whisk my eggs and the milk and the spices and everything whisk 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 very well we want to create some kind of air here because we want it to rise a little bit in the oven later okay so whisk as long as you can maybe give it two minutes of whisking here and you are going to start to see that all of your eggs have incorporated and also like there's some air bubbles there now the spinach and the onions are okay with the temperature we are going to add the tomatoes and I'm going to add also the green peppers okay and you're going to mix as well your vegetables a little bit before you add the rest just to make sure that everything is distributed well 
okay here adding the eggs and the milk and the spices and the seasonings and everything and we're mixing and that's it this is all what you need you can also play around with all of these ingredients you can add i think sun dried tomatoes will work very well here you can omit the spinach and have some other green stuff in it um i'd say i would imagine bok choy for example because i really like bok, bok choy but like you can just add your favorite vegetables i think zucchini will work nice some potatoes but you need to cook them before you add them to this okay here i prepared my oven tray with just a spray of um, oil now we're adding some cheese this is a mixture of mozzarella and cheddar cheese you can just add mozzarella you can just add uh, cheddar you can add feta that will be really nice it's not going to be melty or anything the feta but it's just going to be really nice now we're going to put it in the oven for around i would say 20 minutes and it's 180 degrees see and here it is it's out you just let it sit for five minutes before you start cutting it just for it to sit a little bit okay and that's it easy fast budget friendly delicious meal can you have you can have it to start your day and you can play around with it as I said, add your favorite ingredients, remove the ingredients that you don't like. And I hope you really like this. And if you do, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe and tell your friends about this place and where someone is just experimenting in the kitchen and learning new things. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.